I'm interested to see how this fake dating is different than Catherine Center's fake dating. But also it's kind of fun that he's a politician and she's a librarian. That's just something, I guess I haven't read that many romance books. This will be the fifth romance book that I've read. But it's fun to see all these different careers and whatnot. So, so I've been, I started reading this book today. Today's Tuesday. I'm gonna try and see if I can finish it by Friday. Basically, I was gonna like, I don't feel that great today, so I was going to sit on the couch and like watch some YouTube videos, finish Scandal. I have two episodes left in Scandal, but my computer needed to be charged, and so I was like, I guess it means I have to read. So anyways, I picked this book up, and it's good. <laughs> it is just right off the bat. It just sucked me in, which is good. Yeah, so I've already met the love interests in here, and... Man, it's just good. I'm only on chapter four, well, chapter three, but there have been times where I'm just like, wow, it's just good writing. I think it just describes various things really well. I don't know how to explain it, but even in the first chapter, the title of the first chapter and the first sentence has already hooked. So the first chapter is named, Alexis Stone is not a mouse. And then I'll read to you the first sentence. I'll say one nice thing about my ex Chris Tuttle. The man was the entire reason I was here, standing at the entrance to the sultry Fleur de Lis hotel bar, wearing a red dress so plunging I kept it in the back of my closet for fear of scandalizing visitors on the verge of reinventing myself. So, I don't know. That's just a great start to me. Like, it's just, yes. So, Anywho, I'm on page 36. So as always, the links ooh, <laughs> to the books will that be down in the description box. But so the author, Ashley Winstead, has also written Fool Me Once, which I don't know if I've really heard much about. I feel like I've seen it. It's familiar. So I probably will end up reading that again. I mean, reading that after I read this one, because I think I like reading authors multiple books from the same author back to back to get a sense of their style so i probably will end up reading it i'm predicting that this will be a four star read but again help me figure out what should be four star what should be five star because i'm like i have a lot of four stars but what would make them better I don't know. If you have any insight on how you do book ratings, I would love to know. But as always, you can always follow me on Goodreads to get up to date, almost real time updates of what I'm reading. Intuition, just wanna follow intuition All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking I know, I know. I've been feeling, what if we got up, left this party Cause I can see you're probably gonna be scrolling feeds all night long Your friends are drunk I'm currently editing and I just realized that I did not explain this book. So let's take a second to do a little synopsis of this. The premise of this book is that Alexis just got broken up with and so she's like, oh, let me go do a one night stand. And so she's at the bar. It's like a fancy hotel with a fancy bar. It's known for having politicians and investment bankers frequent there because it's near like the courthouse or something in like the financial district. But Alexis um, starts getting hit on by a guy and she's not into him and trying to drop hints and he's not catching what she's putting down. <laughs> she's, she, he's not picking up what she's putting down. And so then Logan steps in and is like, yo guy, back off. And Alexis is like, huh. <laughs> And then they um, buy each other drinks. I can't remember who bought who. And then they're like, oh, do you want to get a booth? So then they got a booth and start having conversation. And they're just having fun. Alexis, this whole time, is impersonating a different person. Like, she's just playing a fake name and just making up her life story. But Logan is just soaking it all in. <laughs> so they're hitting it off. At the end of the night, they're about to go their separate ways. But then, I can't remember who 
but one of them pulls the other in for a kiss and then the kiss is so great, they keep kissing. Uh, like, oh, do you wanna get a room? And then they get a room. And as they're walking into the room, mind you, it's a fancy room at this fancy hotel, the fire alarm goes off. And so they have to leave the building. And as they're leaving, there's like news people or like, not even like paparazzi, but there's just people with cameras and they're like taking pictures because the building's on fire but then they catch logan and alexis together and it's a scandal because logan has a history of being a womanizer and so he's been trying to clean up his like image partially for the election but just in general as well and so then the next day it's all over the tabloids and then they're like okay we have to fake date and make it seem like we're like real boyfriend girlfriend <laughs> so that's the premise of the book the male love interest what's his name logan okay so the guy's name is logan and the girl's name no oh gosh alexis and logan has just said that he has no time for a real relationship and i'm like okay okay <laughs> But honestly, okay, I'm gonna try to make some predictions. So I'm gonna predict that they fall in love and admit their love to each other before election night. So the election is two months away. So maybe, oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna predict. I mean, okay, okay, because it's a romantic book and you know, third act breakup, blah, blah, blah. I think they probably will catch feelings, of course. And then, they will break up because like, okay, it's after the election, we should break up. But really they both have feelings for each other and they will admit it, but then they will admit it like after the election and then they'll be together. Okay, that's, that's my prediction. I was gonna predict that they would admit their feelings like two weeks before or like a week before, but I think it will be after the election. I mean, it's, it's, it has to be after, right? Because the, the plan is that they would break up after the election. It'd be very cordial, you know, and very public breakup. Well, publicly designed breakup. Um, like their, his PR person would design the breakup. So I'm interested to see how the fake dating goes and just being on a campaign trail. Well, I don't know. Do governors do campaign trails? I think so. So being on a campaign trail, she's a librarian, you know. Can't tell if he's Republican or Democrat. I think he's Republican and her sister is a Democrat, Democratic Senator. So spicy. <laughs> but yes, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm on page 166 and have about 200 pages left. So I think I'll read 100 pages today and 100 pages tomorrow. I was up to like 4 a.m. last night reading because it was so good. It is good. It's fun. It's definitely fun to read, but I'm going to keep going. It is 10 p.m. on a Friday night. <laughs> I'm on page 252 out of 376. So I have about 120 pages left. So maybe four hours. I'm hoping I can do it in less. Um, but worst case scenario, I go to bed at like 2.15. I have to be up on Saturday at like 8 a.m. to run some errands. But, and I won't be reading that much tomorrow. So probably no weekend blog this weekend unless I read 10 hours on Sunday, which I might do. But yeah, I'm just really excited. This has been really good. I thought this would be super steamy and very spicy, but it's actually not been at all. Uh, they had their makeout session in the first 10 pages and then nothing since then. Just like kisses here and there. 
Um, but yeah, fake dating is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the guy, Logan, has just said that he wants to talk to, what's her name? Alice? Alexis. Basically, the guy, Logan, has just said that he wants to talk to Alexis. And so Alexis is like, oh, he's probably going to say we shouldn't fake date anymore. That's what she thinks. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm guessing it might be that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Y'all, there is a twist in here that I never would have seen coming. Never would have seen coming. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't really think romance books had, well, I guess Hello Stranger had a twist. Oh boy. <sighs> this is good. This is good. I think something is about to happen. So I'm predicting it to myself so I don't spoil it for you. Page 340. That was good. That was good. <sighs> yeah, solid four. It was good. It, I will say it did have two spicy scenes at the very end. But, I mean, the first 350 pages, clean. <laughs> but yes, four star read. I don't know what I'll be reading next, so stay tuned. <laughs> I do wonder if this should be given five stars instead of four, but I really liked um, Logan. I liked how the author described him and how we could feel what he was feeling without getting his point of view. But then also I liked Alexis and I liked that she's a strong female lead in the sense that she's finding herself, finding her voice and growing into who she wants to be. Um, and so I think that's something that I can relate to. That's something that I want for everyone to like grow into who you want to be and not be afraid or ashamed of that. And so, yeah, I just really like the characters in this book, mainly the main two leads. Everyone else was okay. They were good supporting cast, but they were really well done. This is a great book. <laughs> I would recommend if you don't mind some spice. But yeah, also I don't know what happened to my book. It's, I don't know if I put it with my scissors and it just, cause I don't think I bought it like that. It is currently 2.01. So I finished right on time. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching. And if you want to stay up to date on what I'm reading, you can check me out on Goodreads, but otherwise I'll see you in the next video.